Hello everybody, welcome to Brilliant Coaching with <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic and Flicky Flag. Hello. Hello. That's a that's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good thing, isn't it? Right. So it's a good day out. Brilliant coaching. I like it. Yeah. Right, so here we go. So these are the teams, uh they're kind of lowish T V teams, aren't they? Looks about fourteen hundred ish. Um yeah. Flicky Flack with the his blood step in game with Chaos with a very, uh, a very uh, buff rowdy beast man. He's got the lion's share of the SPP, so you know maybe in a very boring team. No offense, uh, no offense to Flicky Flax brand of wrestling <laughs> in the JFW. It's a, it's a pretty, you know, I, I like, I do like to get a mighty blow first, just so you get a mighty blow claw, which gives you a, an out against good teams. You know, like like undead and orcs, so you can you can uh, pick people off with claw mighty. Without that, you're just paying for block while they're getting sexy things like guard and stuff, aren't you? Which is a bit, bit. Yeah, shit. it has been rough. I've um I have had uh, quite a few tough matches with this team. Right. So he's got pom. He has. Pretty good. Like and it's guy. devastating. <laughs> Killed a fag or instantly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Could have thought about appoing that as horrible it is. Yeah, I guess he's got so many reserves it doesn't the, the death doesn't matter. You've got to think about that, haven't you? Against uh, against Undead is appoing it to stop him getting the reserve, but in that case, no, it's he's got so many reserves it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's something that I probably should think about, but I always forget um, <laughs> until I see the Rear's Dead animation. Yep, yeah, me too. In fact, I, like if I get a minus AV or something or a minus Ange and a death, I'll take the death out of habit because I think it's funny mm. and then I realise I'm playing them dead and get pissed off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I might have done that before. <laughs> so I definitely don't practice what I preach, but that doesn't change that it's better to not do that. <laughs> Getting his 3D in. Good boy. Yeah, he's... Um... I had a little look at him, 66% coach, um, so really good coach. And obviously Undead is a pretty bad matchup for Chaos when you haven't got the kill skills. Yes. Yeah, pretty brutal. I knew it was, I knew it was going to be a challenge. Um, yeah, I think he maybe should have put this block guy up here first to uh, before he went for the pickup. He's putting him. Be he's putting him in a kind of a relevant spot behind. That's weird. I think. I think this looks like a good place to like blitz because he. You can get a. You know. You can pick him off, can't you? Mhm. Mm Easily, with this guy, you can three dice blitz him even with him if you wanted. But then that might. The way you've assisted, I would have assisted the other way. And. Uh, okay, hitting him. Fair enough. Oh God, re greed reroll. I guess four rerolls. I, personally, yeah. I would have. Um, Cause it, yeah, I got the extra reroll, and I didn't want to base mighty blow if I didn't have to, and I'd already gone a vote down, so I chucked the grade in. Yeah, I think what I would have done, I would have put this, uh, put this block warrior over this side, and then blitzed with, uh, blitzed with this. The you have a strength up horns, then you got three right. dice, haven't you? Um, and a defenseless player. Okay. Yeah. Is the is the route I would have taken there? The fact that you just exposed him, then you could have maybe even like. You could have even come down the side here and maybe put a bit of pressure on as well because he was, like you know, if you're gonna, if you just, if you're not gonna put pressure on, make it a three dice with, with the horns, but you could have, you could have actually just blitzed him and put some pressure on because he was, he left that really, really, uh, really uh, exposed, didn't he? So I'm not hating this from the opponent. Um, I don't mind him getting everyone in this, uh, you know, squeezing himself down this sideline. This isn't. A, I'm not seeing this as a particularly big problem as yet. Oof, that's that's pretty. Bradley, hum again. Yeah, that was a that was a good. I've just got to go. I've just got to go for a second. I'll I'll be right back. Okay.
Oh, it's uh, it's Bloodstep. Um, Flicky Fluck from chat. Elp meme. All right, I just got me uh, white Twixers from uh, from from Fault Force. Nice. Uh, why not watch Miss? I don't know. I like to watch it from the offensive perspective. I mean, could watch it from his perspective. No, I um, I'm, I quite like. Um, I, I sort of wish there was a switch view option, so like the last twenty seconds of my turn, I could switch. Yeah. Um, and see if there's any sort of you know different angle, like you know walking around a chessboard kind of idea. I mean, you can you can put free camera on while you're playing, can't you? And just manually do it. Yeah. Could yeah, be you good. Can. I, I think I'd mess that up probably, and it would take a little bit of time. I guess once I got used to, it, I know Yak plays with it, doesn't he? Yak yeah. is there. He plays with free cam. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could do that. Maybe that's a good idea. But yeah, he's he's really he's really committed heavily over here, hasn't he? He does have the mummies holding the center to uh, like maybe be able to swing back. So it's 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 not so bad, I guess. Yeah. From him, I think I put a couple of warriors in the center there uh, to try and stop that swing back. I'm trying to squeeze him. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't down, hate that. Down to nine, which is a bit of a problem. That power. Power up or the badly hurt. Need need all my warriors for the second half was my thinking. Yeah, I like that. You can power him and then think about what to do with the warrior. I think the first thing is to think what you're going to do with the warriors, and uh, I think that's the most important thing in it because obviously blocking with them is safer. But then you don't really want a warrior, so you're probably going to have to block with the beast man and leave the beast man uh, one on one. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. You could, you, I mean, you could block with a warrior and leave the warrior one on one because then it is it does make him harder thing. But like losing a block warrior from the fight is pretty shitty, isn't it? Yeah. So that, I guess that's the first thing you've got to think about, right? Is what is what to do over there, and obviously yeah. the blitz. I think what you're about to see is me um, losing both block warriors from the fight. Then because I think I block Ooh. twice because I don't power them on the first one. That's a lovely. It's lovely bit lovely to be able to just blitz a blitz a mummy yeah. and assist, isn't it? The only problem is I forget that he's not strength five when he's at any other time when he's not blitzing. <laughs> Somehow get it in my head that he's a strength five player. Yeah, so I I take both blocks with the Warriors, which sort of like you say takes them out of the fight. Oh, glorious! Yes, master. Yes, fault force. Yeah, I just, I just said. So, yeah, thank you very much, fault force. So this, this is good, isn't it? Getting the, getting the knockdown both mummies is nice. Um, yeah, maybe shouldn't have got the extra block on, and then that would have got you another warrior back here, wouldn't it? Yeah, might have been an idea. Um, or forward as well could have been a thing to stop the switch back. Um, who knows? Who knows what's better? There was a lot. Of, probably should have paused it and. <laughs> thought about it more <laughs> could could rewind couldn't i because i got a bit distracted by the fucking people delivering right <laughs> is this the start of your turn here right yeah pretty much so what do you want to happen here don't have a guard so you can't hit him so that's it that's that that would be the first thing i'd want to do would be able to knock down the ghoul and and get a guard hit on him would be you know like if you had a guard Mm. Would be the number one thing I think. Blitz him, and then hit him. So you know, get gets you maximised blocks, doesn't it? Um, I wouldn't have minded probably just blocking with him, bringing him in, and then blitzing with a warrior. You could have like gone one, two, three, four, five. Base the uh, ghoul there with a block warrior, and then bring these guys back like. This guy who assisted could have come back. Uh, could have come back here, couldn't he? Another warrior yeah. there, block him. And the other guy back there. That's probably what I would have wanted to have done. Strength 4 could have even based him. With another one in front. So this, yeah. this, this, this block beast man could have stood here. And the strength 4 beast man here. Then you're shutting him down pretty hard. And block him one there, bring him in, he blitzes, uh, and then bases him. Or 
just scores there for the 2D there. Could even think about 1Ding him at the end as well. So there you go. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, Elf, it was a gift from Volfort. <laughs> and you had to run around him, right? So this guy probably should have moved first, unless he's going to go to assist that block. You probably should have moved that beast man before you did the blitz because it you know he was in your way wasn't he for getting back you could have got more right yeah more over that side a bit yeah i think he just runs down doesn't need to cover so he's not doing anything else yeah uh, more, more. yeah so he probably could have done that first couldn't he yeah so if he'd done that first then you like it's okay if you if you wanted your beast man to go there, but you could have brought him back, like one to the right instead. Yeah, and then one dies power at the end. Yeah, cheeky. But yeah, I think I'd have liked more to have, like two guys in contact with him. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, to be fair, there's two ways of looking at the time that I liked Avani. It was also the time that you liked to fucking be a prat. <laughs> so, I'm just banning you for no reason. Oh, he's GFI'd. That was lovely. Never GFI. No, lesson number one. Never, ever GFI. All GFIs are ones. Yeah. Whoop. All right. Can you can you uh, can you do anything good here? Not really. No. I thought there might have been some kind of stupid surf in there, but there isn't. Right. So what's the uh, what's the plan here then, Mister Flackhammer? Um, I think similar to last turn, I'm looking to uh, maintain the centre and stop the switch back. Try and get some some goats in the way down on the right, but not too much because I'm happy for him to keep pushing and maybe make him score early. Hmm. I think I would like to three dice this school with the uh, strength five blitz. Okay. Yeah. That's what I think I want to do, and I would want to tag the downed Pommer with a warrior and make it hard to get assists for him. Because then yeah, you're like kind of... I struggle with is making it hard for, for people to, to do what they want to do. It's something I need to work on. Yeah, because for, like, for sure he wants to pom every turn, doesn't he, if he can? Yeah. So a lot of people like uh, want you to foul their Pommer. Um, like, you know, sorry, not... Like, viewers, when you're playing a game, they're like, foul him, foul him. Yeah. But if if he's only basing somebody he can't blitz, then you don't need to foul him because he's just got to stand up and get punched or stand up and dodge or stay lying down. So, you know, you don't need to foul him there. Fouling him is just giving him a chance to get, you know, to remove another player. So I like, if I can, to, uh, to do that. So... I mean, you can't do all of that realistically, and obviously, you'd be, if you move, if you abandon the centre here with his mummies, he's, he's got a real strong way back to the middle. So there's certainly something to be said for bringing this guy around and blitzing a mummy, and then trying to trying to control the mummies, and then leaving this a bit open. I mean, you can't really do them both, can you? That's a thing. But I think one of those two, either blunt the attack down the side, mm. or blunt the middle. But you can't really do both, can you? So the defenseless, the defenseless guy is blitzed. Interesting. So here, yeah, I guess you've tried to do both, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, if you make both dodges, you can do. <laughs> um, but still, going that going that route, I would have rather got the got the three dice on the ghoul, I think, than the two dice right. on him. You know, just because the fact that you can get a three dice, like if you power him, it's great, isn't it? 
You know, he's got armor seven and no and no regen and he's a really good fucking player to remove. I think I mentioned um after the after I'd after I dodged them away, I, I really didn't like where I'd put those two because they could have been based um double based by his guard again. Yeah, and that was that was brutal, wasn't it, that he was blitzable. Um, yeah. Because he was gonna take that blitz all day. And while he didn't get to blitz with his pommer, <laughs> he did get the blitz your best yeah. player on two dice, which is pretty pretty bad. So yeah, that was I guess that was lax positioning of the uh, of the strength four for sure. I mean that's yeah that's it's terrible. <laughs> no offense. No, no, that's that's quite all right. That's that's what I'm here for. <laughs> but yeah, like I'd be like, oh my god, as if this guy's let me hit his fucking best player with a mighty blow, and then I'd get yeah. and then I'd get the hit, and then I'd roll both down into both down, and then skull, and then I'd be like, oh, for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but not this guy. No, no, he gets you there. Yeah, no, that that should never have been on. He could have been one back, and it would have been fine, wouldn't it? He'd have still been. Yeah. He'd have still been doing things like this. This guy here was still protecting the warrior from him and stuff. Right, like, sorry, I shouldn't have. Uh... Oh God, I've gone ahead instead of back. What What's happening now? No, this is right. This is your turn, isn't it? This is your turn after that. Yeah. Right. So now, what are we? What are we thinking? Uh, I think right now, having lost him, uh, I think I abandon it. I think I, I just play for the one-one draw now. I try and protect my team. Um, try and make sure I've got the best chance of having eleven men for the second half. Um, and I think I just run to the center and try and keep all my guys together. Now, I think I just abandon the left. Yeah. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but it's what I, I I just couldn't see much else I could do right now. Yeah, I guess fair. I guess I guess that's fair. I I, I wouldn't have meant, like I mean, if you're gonna try to stop it, I think you could you could um, you could blitz with this warrior on the skillless ghoul, and then you know you've got a bit around the back to make him think and then bring these back yeah. around but it's it's rough obviously it's it's really rough now isn't it yeah oh well that's the good thing about getting the uh, warrior stuck on the zombie is causing him eventually yeah that no, that's a lot too. that was nice so he's guard for the next game nice you get banned for it now, what, driving around? That seems crazy. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, this isn't a good way to stop the score, is it? <laughs> but I can see it being a way to get the draw, yeah, that's fine. I, I tend to not like abandoning it. I mean, three, six, seven, eight, still got eight players. It's not It's not terrible, is it? I wouldn't have abandoned yeah. it. Uh, um, and obviously it became 8v10, sort of after I'd already decided to abandon it after that bit of a random one. Yeah. And then it's about to become 8v9 when he self-removes. Yeah, and, all, and also, like, when, like doing it this way, you're giving up the fouls because he's got yeah. reserves, so he can foul every turn. And yeah. you're letting him pom every turn, probably, because he can run people around to get pom. So it's not even easy to uh, give up drives against undead is it because of that fouling threat and stuff yeah thankfully it's a gym foul <laughs> classic twix tasting notes after this fault force it's, I'm doing a YouTube video if you haven't noticed <laughs> you dickhead <laughs> but thanks for all the thanks for all the twix <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, it's 8v9, right, let's get back involved, let's get back involved. All right. <laughs> try and re it, right. <laughs> oh, a cheeky 1D there. Yeah, um, and I got a bit in two minds whether I was blitzing the ghoul or blitzing the mummy, and then I realised that by blocking the ghoul, uh, the mummy there, I've actually blocked any sort of route through by keeping these two free when really I should have, you know, hit him again with the warrior maybe. 
Mm, maybe. Because uh, now they can't really get as far down as I planned. But it's still a little bit pressure. I've got, I've got some guys around. Yeah, I really, I really didn't like the decision to give up, to be honest. It's, and it's worse. It's worse when you then don't give up, isn't it? Because now yeah. it's like, now it's a really weird defense. Now. Yeah, absolutely. He should attack the defenseless player, in my opinion, because then he'd be more likely to get his pom. But he didn't care. He hit the guy with block and didn't follow. What a fucking nerd! <laughs> Why don't you? He's got a pom! He's got pom! Fucking pom! <clears throat> what are you fucking playing at, man? What are you fucking playing at? Not pomming. Imagine that. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Where are these guys? Oh, maybe it would have been worth GFIing with this guy last turn when you think about it. Like, obviously, easy to say it now. Yeah. But this guy's three away, isn't he? Um. So you've got like you've got left a hole, and also he can't put stick him on the air. You can't stick this guy on him if he's on the sideline. So I don't know if you thought about how many squares it was away, but you should have I done, did. shouldn't you? It's yeah, it's not again. It's something that's missing, I guess, from my game. It's not something I very good at planning ahead for next turn and and thinking about where they need to be. Yeah, you've got to think about. Because you've got to like think about what he's going to do on his turn, haven't you? And then, yeah. if if you could have pinned him, then he probably wouldn't have done this play, and he would have been back there. So it's okay. But if he had fucked up, then you could stick him, couldn't you? And you could have also just blitzed this ghoul and stuck him that way as well. So it would it would have probably been worth it to GFI there. But it's easy again. That's easy to say that now. Um, but yeah, if if he had GFI'd, then obviously this this dodge through would have been harder. Yeah. And you could have stuck him on him. But I guess this is safer than not GFI this turn anyway. Like, not GFIing is certainly safer than GFIing, isn't it? Yeah, and I do play safe. Um, <laughs> I'm very conservative. I try and just wait for opponents to make mistakes rather than forcing things usually. Yeah. Oh, two seconds, Jim. And somebody at the door. Okie dokie. Well, I shall use this time. To go and get some white Twix. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I got, a, I got a delivery as well. I'm guessing it's not a box of white Twixes from Fault Force. Right, hello. <laughs> I've opened my uh, Amazon package and I've got 20 fucking white Twixes here ready to eat all in one sitting. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine was a package from Amazon as well. I just said... Uh, Mine probably isn't 20 white Twixes from Fault Force. Oh, God. Honestly, yeah. what white Twixes are like the best, the best things ever. It's just, it's just amazing. Have you tried a white Kit Kat? I have, white yes. It's not. Beef. In my opinion, white Twixes are just the best chocolate ever. <laughs> um... So there you go. Right, I don't know how to open this. I can't open it now because I don't want to fuck it up. Right, so what have we got here? Um, blitzing with him, blitzing the ghoul? Must be. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Don't that's a very good follow. I think I should tuck in and... It was about all your movement though, wasn't it? So there wasn't much else you could do, really. Yeah. Oh, God. Brutal. 
But he's got to think about the ball a bit here, hasn't he? He yeah, he should be, and I don't think he does. So he gives me a a two turner. Yeah. And I've got I've got a bib. Wow. It was slightly higher TV. <laughs> Uses his last reroll as well. That was really greedy. Oh, and he makes a block without block. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm starting to. Like, I think I mentioned this because um, I streamed this game. Um, I'm starting to talk about how he's a 66% coach, and all of a sudden he's making these players that, that just feel just madness. If you, you know you've got a score, you've left the ball unprotected, you can't make that block. No, you just can't. Either either one, because you you want a reroll on defense, don't you? Yeah. And you know, one in 81 risk. Yeah, yeah. The one in 81, I'd be less concerned about. I'm more um, concerned about one in 81s. Just but, I, but I mean, I would be less concerned about the one in 81 than having a reroll for defense. That's what I mean. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, and obviously, wouldn't dream of doing the one in nine. Like that was outrageous. <laughs> yeah. That was completely outrageous. And then his setup is deep. He gives me space. Hmm. Baby. <laughs> it's like what they sell in a in a stand, you know, and they've got them in like uh shops and that. And oh yeah, just... little cardboard display. Yeah, fucking brilliant. <laughs> I bought I bought them from uh there was this place, shop in Leeds and I bought what's it called? Protein bars and I just took the entire display thing and this guy thought I was stealing them because I just you know, I'd just taken a whole fucking a whole box of like about fucking fifty uh, protein bars or something, but uh You probably heard your northeast accent and just assumed you were stealing them. Probably. High kick. Oh that's brilliant, isn't the high kick? I like I quite like his setup here actually. That's a pretty decent sell from him, isn't it? He's very very reactive. I quite like this. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't keen. I thought he was giving me too much space. Yeah. True. 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 But it's it's quite reactive. I like that it's reactive. It's not good that he just gives you the free, mm. the free stuff. Up I can the get, field. You know, I can get three or four players in scoring range and the main scorer in a nice cage. Yeah. Maybe he should have spread the LOS and then put brought the mummies up. So that you would have had a bit more, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have to think more about dealing with that before getting forward. Whereas now you can just instantly get forward. Yeah. But I like I like that he's got all five players here. Like, can you know, three of them can definitely react pretty much. I don't hate it. I mean, the fact that he's he's got slow as foot players, it's hard for him anyway, isn't it? Like, if he does chevrons, you just nail the LOS and run through the middle, so... Yeah. Probably shouldn't do those blocks till the end. I guess you like realised that after doing the first one. I think I actually realised that maybe I should have left a warrior free, like not even take all three blocks, maybe even just base all three with one and have two extra warriors because attrition is pointless. He's got that many reserves, so I think I was just trying to free free and assist so I could blitz the mummy on the way through with the ball carrier yeah. or with the, the receiver the super goat oh but I mustn't do that if I'm putting extra assists, assists in no I just put him in oh yeah after the skulls I figured it's not worth the risk anymore I'll put the extra assist yep just getting scoring range I would have followed him and tagged a ghoul there for sure looks like right. he had a movement but he didn't follow Random cars sadly regened. Oh, didn't follow. Could have followed and tagged a go. I would, I would like to have tagged yeah. that go. Yeah. And that warrior, yeah. I would like to have tagged uh, something. Oh, you couldn't because you're yeah. knocking over. It's something I've got to get used to is counting the squares so I know how many I've got left after the blitz. Um, yeah. To keep, to keep my options on so I know whether I have to follow or, or, or what have you. Yeah. And then so I didn't fail to pick up. And that's, the, that's like that's the thing that that's the danger of abandoning the LOS like you considered just now. Um, you know, if if you had just put one guy on, then he could have knocked you down and then pressured the ball heavily, couldn't he? So yeah, 
But yeah, these guys are now able to react and he can get a nice a nice screen, can't he? So I did quite I did quite like his uh, his defense to be fair. Does following a block not come to movement? Um Well Jeeve. Let's let's uh, do it with this. Um, so, because he started three squares away, um, he's movement six. So he goes one two, and he it costs him the third square to make the block. Um, so if he blocks this guy and doesn't and pushes him to here and doesn't follow, he still uses three squares of movement, whether he follows or not, because making the block is what co costs the movement. So if he w then wants to put him here. Um, he has to follow to be able to get him down to there, or he can GFI. So, in that situation, like, if he, sometimes when you've only got one square left after it, like if he was movement four, and he went one, two, three, and then had the fourth square, you wouldn't follow ever, because you would wait to see if it was an armor break, and then, like, if you wanted to go here, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Then you wouldn't you wouldn't follow because you would want to see if you knocked it if you you wouldn't follow if it was a push sorry if it was a no no if it, I don't know this the situations all right I'm I'm wrapping myself in knots here and it's not really working but there are situations where you would if you had one square left you wouldn't follow to see what happened and then you would move it as if you'd followed isn't it that happens that happens quite frequently yeah, it um, does and sometimes I don't follow thinking I've got that one left. And then I don't, and then I have to GFI or not, or not follow at all, or not move yeah. that one square. So I need to sort of be planning a little bit ahead and just be thinking, right, it's four, four squares to the blade, so I've still got two, or, or what have you. Yeah, yeah, because that would have been that would have been pretty nice, I think, to have tagged, tagged a Yeah, there. just giving him that one in nine failure, or you know, maybe he overblocks, maybe he wants to make the block, yep. <clears throat> and that fails. Yep. Uh, so right now I've got... Three scoring threats. Um, I think I'll spend a little bit of time. I'm guessing figuring out, but he, it's the one that you just were on there, was was the one I was looking at. Yeah, it's it's got to be this, hasn't it? Bryn Fagol yeah. has got to be the scorer because it's pretty easy to push this guy out of the way. Could have made it three <clears throat> dice. That's the question, isn't it? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. He could have gone to there. He could have gone to there. Oh, you could, and then you could have just blitzed with a strength five. So yeah, he could have blitzed it with strength five, mm. made it three dice, would have been better. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh. Yeah, it's right to do two GFIs here, isn't it? And on the pass. I need a catch. Oh, see, failing GFIs. Terrible mistake. Bad player. Should there not anybody. have rolled a one there. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. That's terrible. Silly. Silly. Naive move, rolling a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pile driving, grabbing, brawling, and falling. That'd be amazing, eh, Dev? Yeah. <laughs> But he gets his white and his mummy back, which is a bit of a big swing for the half, but it's still 11 v 11, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, I feel like I'm playing well, and I'm in, I'm in with a good chance at 1 1. Yep. Yeah, both got full teams, haven't you? Both got your exact starting teams. Because you've just lost a skillless beastman. Yeah. And he's just lost a skillless zombie. But, um, yeah, this, this team has lost or had a perm every single game of its of its career. Every single game has been at least one. Oof. <laughs> and I've only just replaced the uh, the perms minus edge minus movement that had been on the on the line for a while, and then they finally got replaced. Oh. Brutal. Yeah, lost a block warrior. It's, it has been, but it, it's been good. I've been, I've really enjoyed the challenge of it. It's, it's the first time I've ever tried chaos. And they are a challenge early. Yep. For the payoff later. Three. I'd made this three. I'd made this three because uh, yeah, it, it yeah, doesn't cost too much. Something I don't do very often. Yeah. It's in this kind of case where you haven't 
but you haven't made the follows, yeah, it's going to come up quite often, and and you might as well get that beastman in to pre- like skillless beastman to protect your warriors, and then make it a three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's something I always do with strength five, just automatically. Yeah. And don't do with strength four. Yeah, it's pretty standard, isn't it? Just punch some things, make a bit of a screen. Yeah. I think he was fine where he was. I think he was better where he was, actually, this guy. I quite like that, because he's making yeah. a screen behind the front line. But Not that it really matters. Yeah, I always have a little look now to see if there's a weak spot in my line uh, where one blitz, uh, a push or a power can get them through. Um, I decided that there wasn't one there, so I wanted an extra block guy on on that zombie. Yeah, yeah, like, it's not, it's not. I don't think it's right or wrong, but I would have had him there. Yeah, fair enough. He's not blitzing with his palmer, I think that's wrong. <laughs> I guess he, he hasn't got much guard, has he? So it's not... He could have just palmed this beastman, though, couldn't he? Yeah. But I guess, like a defenceless beastman? I yeah, I was, glad, I was glad to see him not. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky, skillless Kaz. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I was really happy with that one. Making it 10v11. Oh, that was a fuck up, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you had a block zombie, so I wasted a, an action. But I got him. I got him on the second one. It. Yeah, it wasn't a huge problem. I would have still taken the power, even if I'd thought just to um, just to get him. You know, just to power him and follow up to get the assist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because like your beastman ended up following, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, I should have done. And you, you yeah. kind of want to have. Warriors as the front line sometimes. It's weird, isn't it? Because if, if you're just defending against somebody like blitzing you, you probably want to expose a beast man mm. because you care less if they get hurt. But when you're trying to progress, you want warriors further forward in general. Yeah. So I'll get the mummy blitz again. Yeah, you can't really. You can't, like this, this absolute wall, you can't really do anything else, can you? Yeah. He's just got a screen now, pretty much. Um, right, what can be done here? So I had a little look at whether I could get two dice, um, but obviously trying to hit a blood stepper isn't something I do very often. Uh, I prefer the easier knockdowns rather than Rather than going for that ghoul to get two dice on that zombie. Uh, so I think I just go for the... I think I'm just looking to... He's left space on the right. So my plan was to shift right, but leave that wall of guys on the left. Hoping that he thinks right, he's pushing right, I'll overcommit that way. Yeah, and then I good. switch back. That's, that's my thinking. So I think I shift right a bit, but don't commit. Yeah, that's, that's nice. The old, the old lizard man push and pull technique. Yeah. And then strand him on a on a beast man, I like that. Yep. That's a funny thing with mummies, isn't it? They're moving in three, so it's either leave them unmarked so they have to GFI or get them out of the game on a piece you don't care about. Yeah. It's generally better, I think, to get them out of the game on a piece you don't care about. Yeah. Then. Yeah. You're not giving much of a of a feint here, I think an ex if you really wanted to do that, another another player to right. you know, get a stronger feint down that side, he's never gonna Right, okay. Well, I mean he he could bite if he was shit, but he's never gonna bite to a, he's never mm. gonna do a big commitment there, is he? Um In fact he doesn't he just leaves every everybody else where they already were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, my head's swimming, it's fucking crazy. Um, so Maybe I, you need to up your sugar levels, have you had a twit? 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it now. <laughs> After this match, I'm gonna eat the twigs. Uh, I wouldn't have minded mashing in this turn a bit, you know, because you've yeah. got you've got the warriors. You could mash in a bit, but um, now I, I I'm think... just trying to take like a little bit of center space, um, push forward a little bit, but still keep my options open. I think is what I was thinking there. Yeah, I quite like I like quite like now for him doing the same, like mashing in a bit here. Right. Um, he could, he could blitz your beast man here and then pom your warrior. Quite like that. Mm -hmm. Um, how could he do that? The blood stepper could run round to there, and then he could put. Oh God, he's got. You, you would have to like mark up with a, with a ghoul. But it's blodger in it, right? It probably doesn't die. And then he could have, uh, he could have come in here, bl blitz, blitz down, pushed him in there, and then pommed him. I quite like that. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Him in, him up to there. Yeah. Him in here. He goes there, blitzes him, pushes him out. He poms him. That's pretty good because then he totally blunts your attack quite, quite yeah. effectively. Alternative is you could come in there, blitz him. I mean, basing the ball isn't very good because you're strength five with blocks. He can just fuck off easily. But but he could blitz in there and then base up other places, couldn't he? Or he could have blitzed yeah. him and like he could have, he could have he could have done quite an aggressive turn here. Let's see if he does. Nah, so he he did the he did the kind of easier option of if he gets the push he gets to pom him, but. I would have liked to have, if you get the power, you get the pom both. <laughs> I would might yeah. be blow on and pom the other. Yeah, no, that's that's a really nice spot. Those intricate chain pushes. They're really high level, aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you should, you know, maybe everyone should be a yak and spin around like a lunatic. Yeah. With a camera, it seems pretty good. So, I like um, that he's kind of keeping his his mummies apart on either side, holding the holding the flanks a bit. It's pretty yeah. good, isn't it? It's making it tough. But it, this is pretty uh, pretty exploitable. This is looking like you've almost got to push down the side a bit now, doesn't it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can... Um, four turns left. I, I have got to get moving. He's left me an opening, and I think I t I'm pretty sure I take it here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So you could blitz him with a warrior, which is all right, isn't it? Um, I can blitz him back and then move everyone else up. I wouldn't hate that. Mm. And I won't, don't yeah, hate yeah. taking him. I think I went for the furthest away a player that could reach without a GFI, but yeah, I think the warrior would be better because, like you say, you can blitz him back. Yeah, maybe. But then on the non knockdown blitzing back does cut off um, one of the squares that I'd want to be moving through. Well, then you, I mean, if you push him, you still push him to there, right? Oh, of course I do, yeah, of course I do, yeah. Yeah, but you're absolutely you, right. If you power him, you get him there, and then you get the tag him back, and when he's based, because if, if, like, if you if you didn't break AV here, he just stands up mm -hmm. and does something next turn, whereas if you'd hit yeah. him there, you could have had him based on a warrior, or, like, whoever yeah. the furthest guy away is. This beast yeah, so man could have had him tagged. Yeah, so I, I got lucky with a the stun then. Um, yeah, that, that was pretty nice. Be it was a pretty nice stun. Yeah, yeah, that would have been better, you're right. In my opinion, I, I think it's hard to say if things are right or not. <laughs> um, but I would have liked it. There was a little bit of a, a miss, uh, misstep in the turn ordering there. Oh yeah, um, yeah, that's that, true. There's a warrior there sticking out a little bit from the from the cage. Um, so when I decide to base, when I decide to base the guard. Mummy to keep him out. He can then block and follow and tie up the warrior as well. Yeah, yeah. He should be in line with the block, um, the other block beastman to his right. Yeah. But I had to. So he was there. Then I had to move him because that was my square that I needed to get the other block warrior another square forward. Um, yeah. Being more relevant. Uh, so I should have moved the warrior first. Then, then he would have been tucked away. Yeah, and could have maybe moved some other people up as well first before all of that. Like there were a lot of safe moves at the end, weren't there? Yeah. Um, and I would have definitely tagged the mummy here because I don't like him being able to, you know, you could GFI and then occupy two players here, couldn't he? Or he could just go in and get these two on him, 
Whereas at least yeah. if you'd stuck a beastman on him, um, okay, he might stun or whatever, but then he's completely out of the drive, isn't he? As it is, yeah. you could go one, two, three, double GFI, like it's possible. Yeah. I, I, I mean, did it yeah. against the Orcs the other game. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do the one that's closest to the middle who can react and leave the other one alone. But I think, yeah, I think better to do it, especially as I've got 11 men. Um, yeah, you got the man advantage a bit, haven't you? Yeah, to get rid of both mummies and still have a man advantage is, is pretty huge. Yeah. Learn to roll pals, yeah. Don't roll one on GFIs, that was the big takeaway. <laughs> Don't get excited, Fault Force. <laughs> he comes in for the. Oh, he rolls a one! He's got a GF. You've got to re roll that. Oh, he didn't blitz the Beastman. Interesting. I would have hit the Beastman, I think. Yeah, I think I would have too. Uh, defenseless and it protects the ghoul. Yeah. And holds the flank more. So, yeah, I don't like his choice of blitz there, really. Did the warrior block. I don't know about the warrior block either. I, I love, obviously, it's risky at a block with a beast man. Um, Could you, have freed up the warrior. Yeah, you've you've got three stuck on two here. Whereas if yeah. you had uh, if you'd blocked the the beast, you've got two stuck on two and a warrior yeah. block warrior free to go and do something. Yeah. I guess the plan here is to blitz this or block this block this guy and then take the middle somehow. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely, definitely decided that I want the middle now. Blitz him. Could have blocked yeah, him, right? Uh, could have blocked him. That would have been worth thinking about. Probably couldn't. I didn't want to use up my my guys with the extra assist, so I figured use the strength five. Use block as well instead of non-block warrior again. Something I often do is whenever I can use block, I do. <laughs> yeah. Even if I should take the risk. I know obviously that's an obvious one, use block, but sometimes <laughs> it's worth the risk not to when it's better for position. It is, yeah. Well, they could have been doing a GFI here for a 2D and then move the other guy. I'm just going to be greedy with a 1. I'm just going to be greedy with a 1. Be with one and get oh. To be fair, that would have failed the GFI anyway, so it's all right. Yeah. And this shows up if you fail because it, you can block it, doesn't it? So that's, that's, that's probably better, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, I like that. <laughs> all right, what's he got? What can he even do here? He's got a GFI with that, with that mummy, hasn't he? Is this the guard one? GFI with him. Yeah. And punch him. And, like, try to blitz the front warrior, I guess. It's not exciting for him, is it? It's not. It might have been an option for him to blitz, blitz off the white there and get him back relevant instead of pomming. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like the pom. I, I was so happy to see him pile on there and just, I mean, that's the white gone for the drive now. I don't have to worry about him. He's down on the on the sideline and it's not the direction I'm heading. I'm obviously heading. I'm going to keep going down the right. Pick up the block. Yeah, I guess, yeah, there was no need for the this plus strength guy to be the ball carrier, right? It gets more SPPs on him, which isn't very desirable. Um... But it is good that if a mummy gets in the way, he can blitz him himself. And yeah, it's it's again, it's a bit of a safety first one, isn't it? Having a strength four, moving yeah. seven gets you out of trouble. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The movement is bigger than the strength for having the ball on him, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I think that's why I'm considering not making him my permanent ball carrier because the strength is so good elsewhere. If I had another movement goat, he would definitely become the carrier. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to go show sure hands on that guy next. Ooh, I would have been greedy there, on that block. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go back in time. All right. So it's turn fifteen. Yeah. So where where does the ball go? It's tricky, uh, isn't it? I think I overcommit to the right and leave myself the you know the chance to be boxed in. Um, but yeah, that's that's the way I'm thinking. Obviously, I'm based by a, a mummy, which I need to deal with. Yeah. So any sort of blitz through is very difficult because I'm I'm thinking I need to blitz. I'm gonna have to blitz that um, that mummy off. Yeah. So the obvious way is to assist there, 
2D him and then 2D with the ball and run down run down the left. That seems to be what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can't see any I can't see any other option really right now. Um I've got a bit of space on the left and, and I've got to take it really. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be but I, I think I would have done I would have blocked uh, that white with the uh, beastman. Because he ain't blocking the he ain't blocking the uh, mummy, is he? And he's based up on the mummy. So if you block if you block the white with a beast man, right? Yeah, you've got two assists to his guard. So you, if you power him, uh, obviously yeah. you're freed up the warrior, which is nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Actually, I just realised I don't blitz. I don't blitz uh, the the carrier off at all. I do the chain. Ah, yes, yeah, chain is an option too. Yeah, chain is an option. So get rid of the guard one. It's a, it's essentially the same, but there would have been a chance of the power, wouldn't it? Then it, so it could have worked out better if you yeah. got the power. But you'd have been doing it without block, so it's a bit of a bit of pros and cons. Yeah. But mostly pros. Yeah, and he just dodges, whereas if he had done that block, and if it had been a pal, that warrior would have been straight in, wouldn't he, which would be yeah. lovely. So now I try and base his um, sidestepper, because obviously he's the most likely to get in the way and cause problems. Yep. Um, Did he just stay down? He should have stood up, shouldn't he? Did you run out of time? Oh, yeah, I ran out of time. I tried to dodge him out, I ran out of time. Right. <laughs> because I had spent quite a long time thinking about you know, how to get out and whether I should go for the chain or the blitz away. I had spent a good portion of my time. Yeah. <clears throat> this is nice, I'm just making irrelevant blocks first. Yeah, <laughs> really happy. when Whenever I see people over blocking, I'm always happy. Obviously, sometimes it gets random cars and whatever, but game-wise, it's, it's always good. And then he makes a mad random one. <laughs> I don't know what that one was yeah. about. Blockless one day with a cool. Also, he kind of does the wrong thing here, right? He should have assisted from close by. And yeah. then blitzed. And then got the sidestepper there and the other guy there. Because now this is nothing, is it? This is. Oh, he's got an extra guy. Okay. But, I mean, he's. You know, he's based now. Um, yeah. It's still so not good. It's, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's not good. So I was in two minds and I spent a good portion of my time trying to decide between either blitzing through with the ball or blitzing clear the zombie in the centre. And I was trying to figure out which was the better odds. Two one in nines and a GFI or one one in nine and a handoff. I was, I was trying to figure out which was the better odds. Definitely not a handoff, yeah. Oh, I went for the I went for the right play. I got lucky with the, the knockdown and the cars, which meant I didn't have the GFI at all. Um, yeah. And then just a free running mm. and a five point touchdown with the cars on the way. Glorious. Even more SPP. Yeah, I've done that many a time with my uh, strength four mighty blow guys in Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. It is flicky flack, yes. Uh, Doctor hey, Scarecrow. Okay. And yes, Muppet, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And not straight after, because I want some, I want to eat, well, I want it, I've got me dinner. I'm going to still carry on eating this fucking Twix, to be fair. <laughs> I'm going to eat this Twix first, then I'm going to eat my dinner, and then I'll be back at six o'clock. Oh, maybe, maybe no more, Muppet, no. Oh, well, I guess one turn, I'll do, I'll do the turn four and five. I'll do the turn four and five, no problem. Won't put it on YouTube, we'll just, uh, we'll just do it on the stream. Right, this is pretty much over now, isn't it? Because... Yeah. Let's just put some dickheads on the line. Yeah, I'm just worried about the riot, really. I, I don't think he's shown me enough that he's going to one-turn with uh, with movement seven, edge three. Yeah. I mean, this is going to take give you to, this is going to cause you to take a bit more attrition in the long run, isn't it? Um, but it will improve your win rate a bit. Yeah. Which is what I'm always looking to do. Yeah, which is fair enough. <laughs> 
So there you go. Well, that's it. Uh, was that okay for you then, Flicky Flack? That was fantastic, Jim. Um, as always, I always point out flaws in my game, um, but in a constructive way, that means I can improve for next time. So, yeah, brilliant. Glorious. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers, Jim. I will see you next time. Cheers. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.